Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Mystery Empire, created by Mark and Sierra Houston. The game plays roughly about 15 to 30 minutes, and it's for ages, uh, I don't know, pretty much any age can play this game if they can understand and remember words, and it plays for four or more players. Uh, this game is a word game. It's going to be about categories and choosing your own words and writing them on a piece of paper, and it plays similar to games like uh, Things, as well as games like Empire. It's kind of like a combination or a mesh of those two types of games in a board game format. You're going to be trying to collect people to add them to your empire by figuring out what words they are using or what words they used for a very specific category from this box of different category cards. And if you can gather all the people into your empire, you're going to score the most points in the game. But you're always going to get points as long as you've acquired at least somebody into your empire, scoring you points that way as well. Every round is going to pass for the next player getting to draw a card and read it out and have players attempt to write new words for the new categories, and based on the number of players in the game is going to determine how long the game goes based on how many points that you can get. Five or less, six points, ten or more, one, one oh, rounds, sorry, rounds of the game. And that's basically the idea of the game. I'll talk about a little bit of setup, how the game is played specifically, but also very short, and then we'll just get right into my review. For Mystery Empire, the setup is actually very simple. Based on the number of players playing the game, you're going to, and I would suggest, to just tear off little portions of the pad and give each of those uh, pads to the different players. So in a four player game, uh, you would go ahead and take out four pieces of pad, maybe like a little certain, maybe one sixteenth of the big pad that you see here, and give that to different players so that they can use these pads to write down their words. Then go ahead and give every single player a pencil. Um, these are going to be used to score their points as well as to keep track of uh, the words they're going to be adding. Every player should then tear off a piece of paper, or one player should take one piece of paper and mark everybody's name down just to keep track of your own individual scores, or if you're having a scorekeeper, keep track of all players' scores throughout the rounds. Then you're going to take out the deck of cards, you're going to shuffle said deck of cards, and then you are going to have a player draw a category. When you do that, uh, you're going to begin the game, and uh, we'll talk about how the game goes right now. Okay, so we've got the guy to grab, the, or gal, to uh, grab the category card, and they're going to read it. Uh, things that give off light. After that, they'll go ahead and set the category down for all players to see. It's not a secret. Then every single player is going to write down a word, a thing that gives off light. Like, I don't know, uh, a lamp. <laughs> and each player is going to secretly write that word down on a piece of paper. When they do that, they are then going to fold the paper, and I like to say hot dog style, and then hamburger style, and they're going to hand their piece of paper to the player on the left, or going clockwise, to the player who read the category. And that player is then going to take all the pieces of paper from all the players, shuffle them all up, and then read them out loud twice. You'll go through them. Lamp. Light. <laughs> sun. I don't know. Whatever things give off light. Bald head. <laughs> and he's going to go, he or she's going to go through that category selection twice. So everybody's going to get their word read twice. And you're only going to know your word. Everybody else is going to be a secret. After that is done, and remember that person who read that word can utilize some information, which we'll talk about in my review, uh, then that player will get a chance to guess. That player will guess one of the other players based on what he or she thinks that that player's word is in the category. So if I think that Alicia's word is Canada, I would say, Alicia, are you Canada? She will have the option to say yes or no. If she says yes, she's part of my empire. If she says no, she's not. Either way, she's going to get a chance to guess somebody else. When you're part of a player's empire, when you guess somebody else and they are also a yes, then they also join your empire and they'll try and guess for you as well. And that's a way in which everybody can join your empire. Not only that, but when you have your own empire, the only way your empire gets taken over is if you get guessed. And so if Alicia asks somebody else after joining my empire and they say no, it's simply that player's turn and they are going to get to ask anybody they would like another are you this or that? To which case, it would continue the round until eventually there's only one empire remaining. Now the game can also end because people can forget the words that are added to uh, the, the player who read them out. That's possible as well. And if you do forget, at the end of the round, the players who were forgotten are going to score an extra bonus two points, regardless of whether they were in an empire or not. <laughs> and, uh, and, and by that I mean if I have everybody and no one remembered my word, then I get an extra two points. And you play number of rounds based on the number of players, and it's going to be more 
more rounds uh, for less players and less rounds for more players. And that's basically uh, the idea of the game. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Let's go ahead and discuss my review as well right now. So like I said before, this game is a combination of two teen camping games that I have seen and heard of. Other friends of mine have played when we played this game, they were talking about them. One of them is called Things and the other one is called Empire. Empire functions very similar to this one, but there's a few differences, uh, which I'm not gonna go through Empire because I don't remember it all, it was when I was a young kid. And also, Things is uh, very similar as well, where they're gonna be drawing cards, categories, people will write them down, and you'll try and guess people to score points, uh, but you're not actually putting people into an empire. So this is kind of a cross between those two games with the added benefit of everything coming in the box that you need. Pieces of paper, pencils, the specific categories that you can um, draw through, which of course means that if you want, you can add additional categories, you can add uh, use these things to kind of write your own categories. Um, and everything here is really high quality. The game is very straightforward as far how to play it and you'll understand the rules in roughly about five to ten minutes. I like the quality of the box, the design, all the pencils are very nice, all the pieces of paper and pads are well used and of course you're going to be able to write on the front and back which I would highly suggest you do. Make sure that you use all the pieces of paper that you can and in this case it's only going to be each side because you're not going to want to see somebody else's mystery word on one side. I guess you could cross it off and use another. Either way, quality, construction, high quality design and everything you need in order to play the game, solid right there. Um, uh, I, I enjoy this game. The, the first thing I'm gonna have to say about this is a big caveat. Uh, this game is not playable with four and five players. Uh, I would highly suggest that this game is going to be played best, at best, with 10 or more players. That's where the game really shines. Uh, when you have less players, process of elim elimination becomes very simple. The memory aspect is very simple. Uh, there's only four words to remember or five words to remember if you're playing with a five player game. It's just not going to work uh, because eventually a couple guesses will go through and everybody's going to know what everybody else is. And it, you're not going to, you're going to feel kind of cheated when you get your word guessed because whether your word is good or not, it won't matter based on process of elimination with that short of number of players. That being said, when this game hits 10 players, maybe even eight or so would work, uh, but I would suggest at least 10, and more, more the merrier. Uh, this game does really, really well. We played this at a party, my wife's birthday party a couple days ago, which is why I wanted to give this game another chance with more players after playing it with these smaller amounts. I played with four and I played with six and I still wasn't satisfied. I was like, nah, it ain't working for me. But when I jump on that 10 player bandwagon, wow, this game was a lot of fun. And it reminded me of back when I was younger playing games like this at camp. Uh, it kind of has that feeling of playing Mafia or Werewolf with five players. You can do it, but it's also not going to work out very well. It's not going to be as fun. Uh, this is going to shine greatly with a lot of players. People are going to be forgetting words. People are going to be guessing words to you over and over again, with ones that they've already asked you. Uh, and it has a lot of replayability. Uh, I like all the categories that were chosen in the game. I had a ton of fun. Everybody was playing. We played multiple rounds of this game when we didn't need to. I think, I think for a larger player count, you were only gonna need to play one round. 10 plus is one round. Um, and that's where the game shines. There's a point scoring system when you're playing with less players, technically. And in, in, the, in the 10 or more player game, it's basically just you play one round, whoever has the biggest empire is the winner. That's the best way to play. The other point scoring system is there and it does benefit the lower player counts. But I don't know, I would still rather just play one round, whoever's the winner is the winner and move on to the next round. Because what happens is if you play multiple rounds, and I've won two rounds and you're part of my empire now and you're gonna guess for me, and of course we can work together, which is nice, but they might choose to purposely guess wrong words because they don't wanna score me additional points because guessing serves them no purpose, which is why one round is not a big deal. They've already lost, might as well work with me now to try and guess everybody else so they can move on to the next game, and that's the way to do it. Overall though, Mystery Empire is an excellent game. This is a lot of fun. This is going to get my party recommendation seal of approval. This is a game that is going to see a lot of play at parties. I'm going to bring it out again for the next party because people really, really, really enjoyed this one at a high play count. However, that being said, the one negative drawback is you cannot play this game with less than, I would say, seven or eight players. It really shines well. It plays with tons of ages. It doesn't matter really who's jumping in to play the game. Other than like your toddlers, this is going to be a solid game for them. Yes, Mystery Empire, excellent. 
Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If you enjoyed this video, check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, hit that subscribe button, bell notification button as well, and like as well if you'd like. <laughs> you can also go ahead and check out the website, unfilteredgamer.com. There's blog posts, there's all kinds of good stuff there. There's our live stream every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST, where we play games just like this one every Sunday. And we also give away games. We'll have to give away up on this website for our Moonshell Mermaid dice, which you can go and pick up. It's a Gatekeeper Game Secret set dice. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I look forward to having you join my empire next time. Did you see everything in the frame okay? Look nice. Yeah. <clears throat> hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review by uh, hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Uh, I know, it's just... I don't think this has a company.